Preface of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding Preface In this booklet are refrigerator recipes and suggestions which we have developed to make your menus more tempting and varied, to make meal planning easier. All have been tried, tested, and checked. Included are recipes for sparkling beverages, luscious desserts, and refreshing salads. If you want to see your children race to the table, if you want to see pleasure written all over your husband's face, if you value your reputation as a hostess with a talent for the unusual in food, use these recipes. We can vouch for the results. They're so easy to make. You can whip them up with a minimum of effort. And they're so tempting to look at, that eyes open, mouths water at the very sight of them. They really make mealtime the best time of the day. When you see how usable these recipes are, you'll keep this booklet right near your IH refrigerator to be used constantly. Should you have any questions or problems, please write us. Remember that we in the Home Economics Department are at your service, just like your IH refrigerator, all the time. Sincerely, Irma Harding, Home Economist International Harvester Company, 180 North Michigan Avenue, Chicago 1, Illinois. End of Preface Section 1 of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Ginny Rosario. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Frosty Beverages. With your International Harvester Refrigerator to provide you with a generous supply of ice cubes, you will be serving many cooling, colorful beverages in the summertime. Here are some suggestions for making these mid-afternoon and evening pickups especially refreshing. Ice cubes for cold drinks. Use either crushed or whole cubes. Crushed ice cools beverages more quickly. Cubes last longer and add a pleasant tinkle. Fancy ice cubes. Freeze curls of lemon or orange peel maraschino cherries with stems, or sprigs of mint, a raspberry, or strawberry in ice cubes. Freeze leftover fruit drinks in the ice cube trays to serve in iced tea or other beverages. For fancy cubes, freeze the cubes slowly to prevent cloudiness and expansion. If fruit is to be frozen in the cube, fill tray one-third full of liquid, partially freeze, and add fruit. Allow to freeze into position. Add water to within one quarter inch of top of tray and finish freezing. Freeze punch in cubes or in a block, ideal for chilling the punch bowl and cooling the beverage. Children will love these frozen cubes of sweet fruit flavor if sticks are inserted in the mixture when nearly frozen so they will resemble frozen suckers. To frost rims of glasses. Put lemon juice into a shallow dish. Sift superfine granulated or powdered sugar onto a plate, about a quarter inch deep. Invert each glass in the lemon juice. Lift out of juice. Place into the sugar for a minute. Lift carefully out of the sugar so as not to jar the sugar coating which has formed on the rim. Place in the refrigerator until set. Fill glasses with the beverage, being careful not to disturb the frost. Use of syrups. Keep several kinds of syrups on hand in your refrigerator. Leftover syrup from canned fruit makes a delicious base for chilled fruit beverages. Plain sugar syrup. One cup sugar, one cup water. Combine sugar and water. Boil five minutes. Cool and store in refrigerator. Can be used for iced tea and fruit drinks. Chocolate syrup. Half cup cocoa or two squares unsweetened chocolate. One cup sugar, one cup water, one eighth teaspoon salt. 
one and a half teaspoons vanilla. Combine cocoa, sugar, water, and cook over low heat about five minutes or until thickened. Cool. Add salt and vanilla. Store in refrigerator. Chocolate syrup is ideal for milk drinks. Punch tea base. Two teaspoons tea. Two cups boiling water. One cup sugar. One cup orange juice. Half a cup lemon juice. Half a cup cold water. One quart chilled ginger ale. Pour boiling water over tea. Cover and allow to stand three minutes. Strain over sugar. Stir until sugar is dissolved. Cool. Add orange and lemon juices and cold water. Ice well. Add ginger ale just before serving punch. Base can be stored in refrigerator for later use. Yield 10 to 12 servings. Cranberry orange punch. Quarter cup sugar. Three quarter cup water. One six ounce can frozen orange juice. One bottle, one pint cranberry juice. Two tablespoons lemon juice. Red food coloring. One cup ginger ale. Add water to sugar. Place over heat and bring to a boil, dissolving sugar. Cool. Add frozen orange juice, cranberry juice, lemon juice, and few drops food coloring. Mix well and chill. Just before serving, add ginger ale. Yield one and a half quarts. Frosty ginger ale punch. Two quarts lime sherbet, two quarts ginger ale. Add ginger ale to sherbet in a punch bowl. When sherbet has partially melted, serve in punch cups. Other flavor sherbets can be used. Serves 24. Strawberry float. One one pound package frozen strawberries. Half pint strawberry ice cream. Two cups milk. Allow strawberries to thaw slightly. Sieve berries and add milk and ice cream. Stir until ice cream is partially melted. Serve in tall glasses. Yield one quart. Pineapple fluff. Two eggs separated. Three tablespoons sugar. One cup milk. Half cup unsweetened pineapple juice. Beat egg yolks. Add sugar and milk. Fold in stiffly beaten egg whites. Add pineapple juice and mix well. Pour into fruit juice glasses, especially yummy for the kitties. Yield four servings. End of section one. Section two of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Catherine Stenson. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Frozen Desserts, Part 1. You can easily make delicious, smooth-textured frozen desserts in your International Harvester refrigerator. And you can add variations of your own choice. Fruits in season add a luscious taste, as do flavors such as chocolate, coffee, maple, caramel, marshmallow, or nuts. Having a supply of ice cream variations on hand in your refrigerator will be a convenience and will provide tempting treats for you and your family. Ice cream. Ice cream frozen in a household refrigerator usually employs special ingredients such as whole eggs, egg yolks, gelatin, corn syrup, flour or cornstarch, or hot syrup poured over egg yolks or whites to counteract the formation of ice crystals. These ingredients add body and richness and contribute to the smoothness by producing finer ice crystals. They also increase the amount of air that can be incorporated, resulting in a greater volume. Combinations that are too sweet will not freeze firm in a refrigerator. A good proportion is one part sugar to four parts liquid. To freeze ice cream, set the cold control for fast freezing, coldest position. Pour the mixture into the tray and place it on the bottom of the freezing compartment in contact with the refrigerated surface. Freeze until firm throughout. Remove the frozen mixture from the tray to a chilled bowl and break up the mixture with wooden spoon. 
A wooden spoon does not conduct heat from the hand as a metal one does. Work quickly. Beat with an electric mixer or a rotary beater until mass is free of hard lumps. Gently fold in egg whites or whipped cream. Return the mixture at once to the tray and place it in the freezing compartment. Moisten the bottom of the tray to ensure good contact and to hasten freezing. When frozen, reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point to mellow ice cream until time to serve. Vanilla ice cream, uncooked base, one envelope gelatin, one quarter cup cold water, one and three quarter cups milk scalded, one half cup sugar, one quarter teaspoon salt, two teaspoons vanilla, one and one half cups cream whipped. Soften gelatin in cold water and dissolve in hot milk. Add sugar, salt, and vanilla. Cool until slightly thickened. Fold in whipped cream. Pour in refrigerator tray and freeze one hour or until mush-like in consistency. Turn into chilled bowl. Beat with rotary beater or electric mixer until smooth. Work quickly so mixture does not melt. Return to refrigerator tray to complete freezing. Yield, six to eight servings. Vanilla ice cream, cooked base. Two thirds cup sugar. One and one half tablespoons cornstarch. One and one half cups top milk. Two eggs, separated. One quarter teaspoon salt. Two and a half teaspoons vanilla. One cup cream, whipped. Combine sugar and cornstarch in the top of a double boiler. Gradually stir in milk. Cook over boiling water. Stir constantly until the mixture thickens. Cover and cook for 10 minutes. Stir a small portion of the hot mixture into the beaten egg yolks. Add yolks to remaining hot mixture. Cook over hot, not boiling, water. Stir constantly for three minutes. Cool. Add vanilla and salt. Fold beaten egg whites into cooled custard. Pour into refrigerator tray and freeze until firm throughout. Remove to a chilled bowl. Beat with rotary beater or electric mixer until smooth. Work quickly so mixture does not melt. Fold in whipped cream. Return to refrigerator tray to complete freezing. Yield, six to eight servings. Frozen plum pudding. One square, one ounce, unsweetened chocolate. Three tablespoons sugar. One half cup milk. One half cup chopped dates. One half cup currants. One half cup chopped pecans. One egg separated, one tablespoon sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one cup cream whipped. Melt chocolate with sugar and milk. Add dates, currants, pecans, and cook over hot water until fruits are somewhat softened. Add beaten egg yolk. Chill this mixture in refrigerator. Whip egg white until stiff. Add one tablespoon sugar. Fold into chocolate mixture. Add vanilla. Fold whipped cream into chocolate mixture. Set cold control at coldest setting. Pour mixture into freezing tray and freeze until firm. Reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point and allow pudding to mellow until serving time. Yield six servings. Ice cream crumb pie. One and one half cups chocolate cookie crumbs. One and one half pints ice cream. One quarter cup butter, one quarter cup sugar. Roll thin chocolate wafers with rolling pin to make crumbs. Cream butter. Add crumbs and sugar. Mix well. Pack half the crumb mixture in freezing tray. Place in refrigerator to chill. Cover crumbs with ice cream. Pack down well. Press remaining crumbs firmly on top. Return to refrigerator and freeze. If desired, garnish with whipped cream before serving. Yield six to eight servings. Butterscotch sundae sauce. One and one quarter cups brown sugar. Three quarters cup light corn syrup. One quarter cup butter. Three quarters cup light cream. Combine ingredients. Heat slowly until sugar is dissolved. Cook until mixture spins a thread, 232 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. 
yield two cups. Fudge sauce. One cup sugar, one cup water, one half cup light corn syrup, three squares, ounces, unsweetened chocolate, one half teaspoon vanilla, one cup evaporated milk. Combine sugar, water, and corn syrup. Heat slowly until sugar is dissolved. Cook, stirring occasionally, to soft ball stage, 236 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove from heat and add chocolate. Stir until melted. Add vanilla and evaporated milk. Cool. Yield two and one half cups. Parfaits. A parfait is made from stiffly beaten egg whites over which a thick, hot syrup is poured. When the mixture is cool, it is combined with stiffly beaten whipped cream. Parfaits are frozen without stirring. Fruit parfait. Three quarter cup sugar. One half cup water. Two eggs, separated. One third cup maraschino cherries, chopped. One quarter cup maraschino cherry juice. Two cups cream, whipped. Boil sugar and water until it spins a thread, 232 degrees Fahrenheit. Add slowly to beaten egg yolks. Beat constantly until cooled. Stir in fruit and juice. Fold in beaten egg whites and cream. Turn into refrigerator tray. Set cold control on coldest position. When frozen, reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point and allow mixture to mellow several hours. Yield eight servings. Note, other fruits and juices can be substituted for the cherries. End of section two. Section 3 of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Katherine Stunson. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Frozen Desserts, Part 2. Molasses Nut Parfait. One third cup molasses, two tablespoons sugar, one quarter cup water, two egg whites stiffly beaten, one cup heavy cream whipped, one teaspoon vanilla, three quarters teaspoon cinnamon, one half cup chopped black walnuts. Cook together molasses, sugar, and water to soft ball stage, 236 degrees Fahrenheit. Gradually pour syrup into stiffly beaten egg whites. Beat constantly until mixture is cool. Add vanilla and cinnamon. Fold in whipped cream and walnuts. Pour mixture into freezing tray of refrigerator and place in freezing unit. Set cold control on coldest setting to freeze. After mixture is frozen, reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point and allow mixture to mellow several hours. Yield six servings. Mousses. A mousse is made from whipped cream and combined with one of various flavorings, or fruit pulps, chocolate, macaroons, etc. Mousses are frozen without stirring. Set cold control on coldest setting. When frozen, reset cold control midway between normal and coldest to mellow before serving. Vanilla mousse. Two cups cream, whipped. One third cup sugar. One and one half teaspoons vanilla. Two egg whites beaten, optional. One and one half teaspoons lemon juice. Add the sugar, vanilla, and lemon juice to whipped cream. Fold in egg whites. Freeze in a refrigerator tray without stirring. When frozen, reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point and allow mixture to mellow for several hours. Yield eight servings. Strawberry mousse. One cup crushed strawberries. One half cup sugar. Two cups heavy cream, whipped. One teaspoon vanilla. One eighth teaspoon salt. Combine fruit pulp and sugar. Fold in whipped cream. Add vanilla and salt. Freeze in refrigerator tray without stirring. After freezing, reset cold control at midway between normal and coldest point 
and allow mixture to mellow several hours. Yield, eight servings. Sherbets. A sherbet is an ice with egg whites, milk, cream, or gelatin added. Any recipe for an ice can be converted to a sherbet by the addition of stiffly beaten egg whites or by substituting milk for the water called for in the recipe. Rather than make a syrup, scald the milk with the sugar and corn syrup in the top of a double boiler. Cool, add remaining ingredients, and proceed as directed for ice cream. Remove the mixture from the tray into a chilled bowl. Add unbeaten egg whites. Beat until light in color and a smooth mush in texture. Put back into the tray and return to refrigerator to complete freezing. Sherbet. One cup sugar, two cups water, two teaspoons unflavored gelatin, one quarter cup cold water, two egg whites unbeaten, one cup fruit juice or one half cup crushed fruit, one quarter teaspoon salt, two tablespoons lemon juice. Soften gelatin in one quarter cup cold water. Combine sugar and water and bring to a boil. Dissolve gelatin in hot mixture. Cool. Add fruit juices or crushed fruit and salt. Pour into refrigerator tray. Freeze until firm throughout. Remove to chilled bowl. Add unbeaten egg whites. Beat with rotary beater or electric mixer until light and fluffy. Return to tray. Freeze until firm. Yield six to eight servings. Cranberry sherbet. Four cups cranberries, two cups water, two cups sugar, one teaspoon unflavored gelatin, one cup orange juice, three tablespoons grated orange rind, one quarter cup lemon juice. Cook cranberries in water until skins pop. Put through a food press. Add sugar and heat to boiling. Soften the gelatin in orange juice and stir into hot mixture. Add orange rind and lemon juice. Pour into refrigerator tray and freeze. Turn into mixing bowl and beat until light and fluffy. Return to tray. Freeze firm. Serve sherbet as a main course accompaniment, a punch float, or a dessert. Lemon cream sherbet. Two teaspoons grated lemon rind. One half cup lemon juice. One and one half cups sugar. Two cups milk. Two cups light cream. Combine lemon rind, lemon juice, and sugar. Allow to stand several hours. Add lemon mixture to milk and cream. Turn into refrigerator tray. Freeze until firm throughout. Remove to chilled bowl and beat with rotary beater or electric mixer until smooth and fluffy. Return to refrigerator to complete freezing. Yield 8 to 10 servings. Fruit sherbet. 2 cups mashed bananas, 1 third cup lemon juice, 1 third cup orange juice, 1 half cup light corn syrup, 1 eighth teaspoon salt, 1 egg white, 1 third cup sugar, 1 cup milk, 1 quarter cup maraschino cherry juice, 1 half cup coarsely chopped maraschino cherries, 1 half teaspoon grated orange rind. Mix lemon juice with bananas, then add orange juice, corn syrup, and salt. Beat egg white until stiff but not dry. Gradually beat in sugar. Fold into banana mixture. Add milk, cherry juice, cherries, and orange rind. Pour into refrigerator tray. Freeze until mixture is almost firm. Place in chilled bowl and beat. Return to tray and continue freezing until firm. Yield eight servings. Ices. An ice is a mixture of fruit juices, sugar, and flavoring. Combine fruit juices and chilled syrup as directed. Mix well. Pour into freezing tray. Freeze until firm throughout. Remove from tray to a chilled bowl, break up with a wooden spoon, and beat with an electric mixer or rotary beater until free of hard lumps but still a thick mush. Work quickly. Return to tray to complete freezing. Lemon ice. Two and one half cups water, three quarters cup corn syrup, one cup sugar, one tablespoon grated lemon rind, two thirds cup lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon salt, yellow food coloring. Combine water, corn syrup, sugar, and lemon rind in a saucepan. 
Stir until sugar is dissolved. Bring to a boil and boil for five minutes without stirring. Cool. Add lemon juice. Strain mixture to remove lemon rind. Tint a delicate yellow shade with a few drops of food coloring. Freeze in a refrigerator tray until firm throughout. Remove to chilled bowl. Break up with a wooden spoon and beat with rotary beater or electric mixer until light. Return to refrigerator to complete freezing. Yield six to eight servings. End of section three. Section four of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Chilled Desserts. There are many delectable desserts made from a gelatin base. These are usually called whips, snows, or creams, according to the fruit combinations, such as cherry whip, grape snow, or pineapple Bavarian cream. Other desserts which have eye and taste appeal are combinations of fruit, gelatin, or cream fillings, plus cake or cookie foundation. Again, these are ideal ways to use the last of the angel food, sponge, or plain cake, or extend a small amount of food to fit your current needs. Snow puddings attain a characteristic light, airy texture through the addition of beaten egg whites, which are folded in when the gelatin mixture begins to set. The same holds true of Bavarian creams, except that whipped cream takes the place of the egg whites. To use plain gelatin as a base, soften gelatin in a small amount of cold liquid. Stir into the hot liquid. For general use, allow one envelope of gelatin to two cups of liquid. If acid fruit juices are used, the proportion of one envelope of gelatin to one and three quarter cups liquid is more satisfactory. To hasten setting of gelatin mixtures and to preserve the fresh fruit flavors, heat only half of the liquid to dissolve the softened gelatin, then add the other half cold. Note, fresh pineapple juice or pulp must be scalded before using with gelatin because of an enzyme in fresh pineapple that keeps gelatin from gelling. To remove molded gelatin desserts, dip mold into a pan of warm, not hot water for about 30 seconds. The water should come almost to the top of the mold. The dessert can be removed easily to the serving plate by inverting mold on the plate. Turn mold over carefully and dessert will remain on plate. This action is done in the same manner as one removes a cake from the pan. Orange Banana Cake One package orange flavored gelatin, one and one half cups hot water, one quarter cup sugar, few grains salt, three quarter teaspoon grated orange rind, one half cup orange juice, three quarter cup whipping cream, one and one half cups finely diced bananas, twelve lady fingers. Dissolve gelatin in hot water and add sugar, salt, orange rind, and orange juice. Chill until mixture starts to thicken. Whip cream until thick but not stiff. Fold cream and bananas into gelatin. Line a bread pan with wax paper. Line bottom and sides of mold with lady fingers, split lengthwise. Fill mold with gelatin mixture. Arrange lady fingers over top of gelatin. Chill until firm. Remove from mold and slice. Yield eight servings. Pineapple Refrigerator Cake. One envelope unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold water. One number two can crushed pineapple. One cup sugar. One half cup chopped maraschino cherries. One quarter cup chopped pecans. Three egg whites. Two cups whipping cream. Two dozen lady fingers or slices of sponge cake. Soften gelatin in cold water. Drain pineapple and heat pineapple juice. Dissolve gelatin in pineapple juice. Add sugar and stir until dissolved. Cool. Add cherries, nuts, and drained pineapple. Beat egg whites until stiff but not dry. Fold into fruit mixture. Fold in whipped cream. Arrange a layer of lady fingers or sponge cake on bottom and around sides of nine inch square pan. Pour mixture into pan and top with a layer of lady fingers or sponge cake. 
let stand in refrigerator 24 hours slice and serve yield 12 servings snow pudding one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water one cup boiling water two-thirds cup sugar one teaspoon grated lemon rind one quarter cup lemon juice one quarter teaspoon salt two egg whites soften gelatin in cold water dissolve in boiling water add sugar grated rind lemon juice and salt cool chill until partially set beat egg whites until stiff add gelatin mixture continue beating until mixture holds its shape pour into mold or ice cube tray chill serve with custard sauce yield six to eight servings variation substitute one cup hot fruit juice for water decrease lemon juice to two tablespoons omit lemon rind custard sauce two cups milk two egg yolks one quarter cup sugar one quarter teaspoon salt one teaspoon vanilla scald milk in the top of a double boiler beat egg yolk slightly add sugar and salt stir several spoons of scalded milk into egg mixture keep water in bottom part of double boiler below boiling point during rest of the cooking period add egg mixture to scalded milk stirring constantly cook until the custard thickens only enough to coat a metal spoon cool add vanilla store in covered dish in the refrigerator until time to serve yield six to eight servings bavarian cream one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water two eggs separated one quarter teaspoon salt one third cup sugar one cup milk scalded one teaspoon vanilla one cup cream whipped soften gelatin in the cold water combine beaten egg yolk salt and sugar add scalded milk slowly stirring constantly place in top of double boiler dissolve softened gelatin in hot mixture cook over hot not boiling water until mixture coats a metal spoon cool until mixture begins to thicken add vanilla fold in stiffly beaten egg whites and whipped cream turn into a one and a half quart mold or into six to eight individual molds that have been rinsed in cold water chill until set unmold for serving either plain or topped with fresh fruit or berries peppermint cream one cup crushed peppermint stick candy two cups whipping cream one half envelope unflavored gelatin two tablespoons cold water one ten ounce can chocolate wafers combine candy and one half cup whipping cream heat in double boiler until candy is dissolved soften gelatin in cold water and add to candy mixture chill until partially set fold in one and one half cups cream whipped place chocolate wafer halves around edge of eight inch square pan arrange layers of wafers in bottom of pan add half of gelatin mixture top with layer of wafers add remaining gelatin mixture and top with wafer crumbs chill at least 12 hours yield nine servings chocolate whipped cream cake two eight inch sponge cake layers one and one half cups whipping cream one cup thick chocolate syrup two tablespoons sugar one quarter teaspoon salt one quarter chopped nuts split layers of sponge or plain cake in half crosswise making four layers whipped cream until it begins to thicken add the chocolate syrup all at once continue to beat until the mixture is smooth thick and well blended add sugar and salt spread between the cake layers cover top and sides with the remaining cream sprinkle nut meats over top of cake chill in the refrigerator for 24 hours yield eight to ten servings chocolate refrigerator cake one package chocolate bits two tablespoons sugar three tablespoons cold water three eggs separated one cup cream whipped one teaspoon vanilla one half teaspoon peppermint extract if desired one quarter teaspoon salt 18 lady fingers split melt chocolate bits in top of double boiler add sugar and water mix well remove from heat stir gradually into beaten egg yolks beat until smooth chill until cold add salt and flavorings beat the egg whites until stiff but not dry fold into chocolate mixture fold in the whipped cream line a loaf pan with waxed paper 
put a layer of lady fingers on bottom and around sides add half the chocolate filling more lady fingers remaining chocolate and lady fingers chill in the refrigerator until set to serve remove from pan and garnish with whipped cream yield twelve servings mellow chocolate two squares two ounces unsweetened chocolate one half cup boiling water one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water three beaten egg yolks three quarter cup sugar one quarter teaspoon salt one half teaspoon vanilla three egg whites stiffly beaten melt chocolate in boiling water soften gelatin in cold water and add to chocolate mixture stir until gelatin is dissolved beat egg yolks add one half cup sugar and beat until light and fluffy combine with chocolate mixture add salt and vanilla cool add remaining one quarter cup sugar to stiffly beaten egg whites and fold into chocolate mixture until thoroughly blended chill in bowl spoon into sherbet glasses garnish with whipped cream yield eight to ten servings End of section four. Section five of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Pies light airy colorful and delicious are the refrigerator pies you can prepare with the aid of your international harvester refrigerator these pies are commonly referred to as chiffon cream or bavarian pies being light and cool they are ideal for the final touch to a summer dinner the shell or crust can be either baked pastry or a crumb crust according to one's individual preference if a baked pie shell is preferred it will keep its shape better if chilled in the refrigerator before baking crumb pie shell add one half cup butter and two to four tablespoons sugar to one and one quarter cup crumbs for crumbs use either graham crackers chocolate wafers or crisp prepared cereals spread in a nine inch pie pan and chill thoroughly rolled oats crust two cups quick oats one half teaspoon cinnamon two-thirds cup melted butter one half cup brown sugar mix all ingredients spread one half cup of mixture on a shallow pan and press rest of mixture into a nine inch pie pan bake in moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit for 20 minutes sprinkle the one half cup crumbs over top of pie for garnish ginger snap crust one cup crushed ginger snaps one quarter cup sugar one quarter cup melted butter mix sugar with ginger snap crumbs add melted butter and stir until well blended press firmly into bottom and sides of nine inch pie pan bake eight minutes at 375 degrees fahrenheit cool lemon chiffon pie four eggs separated one half cup lemon juice one half teaspoon salt three quarter cup sugar one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water one teaspoon grated lemon rind one nine inch pie shell combine beaten egg yolks lemon juice salt and one quarter cup of sugar in top of a double boiler cook over hot water to a custard consistency soften gelatin in cold water dissolve in hot mixture add lemon rind cool until mixture begins to thicken beat egg whites until stiff gradually add the remaining one half cup of sugar fold into lemon mixture fill a baked pie shell with mixture and chill in refrigerator garnish pie with sweetened whipped cream before serving vanilla chiffon pie one envelope unflavored gelatin two tablespoons cold water two eggs separated one and one half cups milk one half teaspoon salt one half cup sugar two teaspoons vanilla one nine inch crumb shell soften gelatin in cold water combine beaten egg yolks milk salt and one quarter cup of the sugar in the top of a double boiler cook over hot not boiling water until mixture thickens stirring constantly dissolve softened gelatin in hot mixture chill until mixture begins to thicken add vanilla beat egg whites only until stiff 
gradually beat in remaining sugar fold into gelatin mixture pile lightly into crumb shell chill until firm spread with whipped cream and garnish with grated semi-sweet chocolate or chocolate shot chocolate chiffon pie one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water two squares two ounces unsweetened chocolate one cup milk two eggs separated one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup sugar two thirds cup cream whipped one teaspoon vanilla one nine inch pie shell soften gelatin in cold water combine chocolate and milk in the top of double boiler heat over boiling water until chocolate is melted beat until smooth dissolve softened gelatin in the hot mixture beat egg yolks until thick and lemon colored gradually beat in salt and about half the sugar add hot chocolate mixture slowly add vanilla mix well chill until mixture begins to thicken beat egg whites only until stiff gradually beat in remaining sugar fold egg whites and whipped cream into the chocolate mixture pile lightly in the pie shell chill in the refrigerator until firm to serve top with sweetened whipped cream pink lemberry pie one package strawberry flavor gelatin one half cup hot water one quarter cup lemon juice one quarter cup sugar one quarter teaspoon salt one and one half cups heavy cream one teaspoon lemon rind grated line a deep nine inch pie plate with graham cracker crust save one quarter cup of the crumb mixture for topping dissolve gelatin in hot water add sugar lemon juice and salt chill until partially set whip cream until it begins to thicken add gelatin mixture and whip until soft peaks are formed fold in lemon rind pour into graham cracker crust top with remaining crumbs chill until firm fresh strawberry pie one quart fresh strawberries one and one half cup sugar one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water two tablespoons lemon juice red food coloring one cup cream whipped one nine inch pie shell wash and cap strawberries sprinkle with one cup sugar let stand in refrigerator for several hours soften gelatin in cold water press half the berries and all the juice through a sieve to make one and one half cups of sieved berries and juice if necessary add water to make up the full amount add remaining one half cup sugar and lemon juice heat to the boiling point dissolve gelatin in hot strawberry mixture add coloring to give a bright red color chill until mixture begins to thicken place remaining whole berries in pie shell cover with thickened gelatin mixture chill until firm top with sweetened whipped cream before serving pineapple cheese pie one envelope unflavored gelatin one quarter cup cold water three egg yolks one cup crushed pineapple not drained one teaspoon grated lemon rind two tablespoons lemon juice one third cup sugar one cup cottage cheese three egg whites one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup sugar one nine inch crushed cornflakes crust reserve three tablespoons crumbs for topping soften gelatin in cold water combine egg yolks pineapple lemon rind lemon juice and one-third cups of sugar in top of double boiler and cook stirring constantly when thick remove from heat and add softened gelatin sieve cottage cheese and add to hot mixture cool until mixture begins to thicken add salt to egg whites and beat till stiff gradually beat in one half cup sugar fold into cold mixture turn into chilled crust sprinkle with crumbs chill till firm black bottom pie chocolate layer two and one quarter teaspoons unflavored gelatin three tablespoons cold water one and one third cups milk three egg yolks one third cup sugar two and one quarter teaspoons cornstarch one eighth teaspoon salt one and one half squares ounces unsweetened chocolate three quarter teaspoon vanilla one nine inch chocolate wafer crust soften gelatin in cold water scald milk in double boiler beat egg yolks slightly stir in combined sugar cornstarch and salt slowly stir in milk return to double boiler cook stir over hot water until custard coat spoon 
Remove from heat, stir in gelatin until dissolved. Melt chocolate in saucepan, remove from heat. Slowly stir in one half of the custard, reserving other half for white layer. Add vanilla, beat until smooth. Cool until mixture starts to thicken, pour into crust and chill. White layer, three egg whites, one eighth teaspoon cream of tartar, one quarter cup sugar, two tablespoons rum or one half teaspoon rum flavoring. Beat egg whites with cream of tartar until stiff. Add sugar. Fold in remaining half of custard and rum. Pour on top of chocolate layer. Chill until set. Topping. One quarter cup cream whipped. One half square unsweetened chocolate grated. Just before serving, spread whipped cream on pie and sprinkle with chocolate. End of section five. Section 6 of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Ginny Rosario. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Salads, Part 1. The secret of a successful salad is thorough chilling and crisping of all ingredients. Salad greens should be thoroughly cleaned and dried, fruits well drained, meat, fish, and cheese cut into bite-sized pieces of uniform shape. Eye appeal is important. Add colorful garnishes to a salad that is not naturally colorful. Salads for the main course should contain some protein-rich foods, such as chicken, meat, fish, or cheese and vegetables. Marinate meat or vegetables separately in a tart French dressing and combine just before serving. Mayonnaise or cooked dressings give added food value and body to salads of this kind. For meat, chicken, or fish salads, allow one half cup ingredients and two tablespoons dressing per serving. The salad will be more attractive if the pieces are large enough to be identified. Mixed Green Salad a green salad served before, after, or with a hearty main course should be light and tangy, the servings should be small, and the dressing tart. Greens can include lettuce, chicory, romaine, watercress, or endive. Other raw vegetables can be added, such as tomatoes, radishes, onions, cucumbers, carrots, beets, spinach leaves, turnips, and cauliflower or broccoli flowerettes. Salad Tactics When choosing the dressing to accompany the salad, remember a safe rule to follow is simple dressings for accompaniment salads, hearty dressings for main course salads, and sweet dressings for dessert salads. Too much dressing can ruin a salad. It is best to season salads lightly and provide additional dressing on the side. Dip Fruits That Darken in Lemon Juice Pieces of fruit should be large enough so they can be identified. Many of the smaller fruits and berries can be left whole or halved. Allow one half cup fruit per serving. Handle salad foods lightly. Do not mix excessively, or packing and bruising may result. Keep salads in the refrigerator until ready to serve. Long waiting in room temperature causes them to lose their crispness. It is good practice to chill the salad plates in your refrigerator before serving the salad. This applies especially to fruit and gelatin salads. Crab Stuffed Tomatoes 10 medium-sized, firm, ripe tomatoes 2 cups crab meat 2 7-ounce cans 3 quarter cup chopped celery 2 tablespoons chopped green pepper 1 pimento chopped 2 hard-cooked eggs chopped 2 tablespoons capers, 3 quarter teaspoon salt, few grains pepper, mayonnaise, wash tomatoes, peel if desired, and scrape out centers, sprinkle inside of tomatoes with salt, invert and chill in refrigerator, fill with crab meat stuffing, flake crab meat, combine with celery, green pepper, pimento, eggs, and capers, season with salt and pepper, add mayonnaise to moisten, Garnish with deviled eggs and whole baby gherkins. Yield 10 servings. Potato Salad 
12 medium-sized cooked potatoes, 1 half cup chopped onion, 1 tablespoon salt, 1 quarter teaspoon pepper, 1 and a half teaspoons celery seed, 1 half cup vinegar, 1 third cup chopped sweet pickle, 1 fourth cup melted butter, 4 hard-cooked eggs chopped, mayonnaise, diced potatoes, add onion, salt, pepper, celery seed, vinegar, and pickles. Mix lightly. Add melted butter and chopped eggs. If you desire, add mayonnaise to moisten. Yield 10 servings. Tuna fish salad. 2 cups flaked tuna fish. 2 7-ounce cans. 3 quarter cup chopped celery. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 tablespoon minced onion. 1 quarter chopped sweet pickle. 4 hard cooked eggs chopped. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 third cup mayonnaise. Combine tuna fish, celery, salt, pepper, onion, pickles, and eggs. Moisten with lemon juice and mayonnaise. Chill in refrigerator. Yield 6 servings. Frozen fruit salad. 2 3 ounce packages cream cheese. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons salad dressing. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 half cup drained crushed pineapple. 1 half cup coarsely chopped maraschino cherries. 1 half cup coarsely chopped pecans. 1 half cup diced marshmallows. 1 cup whipping cream. 2 cups diced ripe bananas. Mash cheese with fork. Blend with salt, salad dressing, lemon juice, and mix well. Fold in pineapple, cherries, nuts, bananas, and marshmallows. Whip cream till thick, not stiff, and fold into cheese mixture. Turn into freezing trays of refrigerator. Freeze until firm with cold control set at coldest setting. Yield 8 to 10 servings. Molded Salads Before using the mold or molds when making gelatin salads, rinse them in cold water. Leave excess moisture on the molds or brush molds lightly with salad oil. If square-sided molds are used, they can be lined with strips of cellophane. If individual molds are not available, small muffin pans will serve as a convenient substitute or pour the mixture into an ice cube tray with the metal grid in position. Place the tray on the food compartment shelf until salad sets. A plain gelatin base or a flavored base may be used for the salad. Your choice depends upon the other ingredients that make up the salad. Vegetable salad. One envelope unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold water. One cup boiling water. One tablespoon lemon juice. Three tablespoons vinegar. One tablespoon sugar. One teaspoon salt. Two tablespoons grated onion. 2 cups diced vegetables. Soften gelatin in cold water. Add boiling water and stir until dissolved. Add lemon juice, vinegar, sugar, salt, and onion. Mix well. Chill until partially set. Add vegetables. Rinse mold in cold water. Fill mold with mixture. Chill until firm. Unmold on a bed of salad greens. Yield 1 8-inch ring mold. Gelatin base for meat or chicken salad. One envelope unflavored gelatin. One and three quarter cups bouillon or soup stock. One tablespoon grated onion. Soften the gelatin in one quarter cup of the cold bouillon or soup stock. Heat the remaining stock to boiling. Add softened gelatin and stir until dissolved. Add grated onion or other desired seasonings. Makes one eight inch ring mold. Note. Use chicken bouillon for chicken salad and beef bouillon for meat salads. Fish salad. Use lemon-flavored gelatin and follow directions given on the package. Substitute three tablespoons of vinegar for part of the water. Add one tablespoon grated onion and one half teaspoon salt. Add flaked fish and such ingredients as chopped hard-cooked eggs, pickles, celery, green peppers, and olives. Chicken Mushroom Salad 1 can condensed mushroom soup 
one half cup mayonnaise, one tablespoon lemon juice, one envelope unflavored gelatin, one quarter cup cold water, one cup celery, cut fine, two pimentos, cut fine, one and a half cups chicken, shredded. Add mayonnaise and lemon juice to soup. Soften gelatin in cold water. Dissolve over hot water. Add gelatin to soup mixture and mix well. Add celery, pimento, and chicken. Turn into mold and chill until firm. Yield six to eight servings. Avocado Cherry Salad One package raspberry-flavored gelatin. One number two and a half can Bing cherries pitted. Two avocados diced. One quarter cup lemon juice. Two grapefruit halved and hollowed out. Cut grapefruit in half. Remove pulp and use in other ways. Drain cherries. Combine cherry liquid and lemon juice and add water to make one and three quarter cups of liquid. Heat. Pour over gelatin and stir until dissolved. Chill until partially set. Add cherries and avocado. Pour into half grapefruit shells and chill until firm. Cut each half in half again for serving. Yield eight servings. End of section six. Section seven of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Ginny Rosario. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Salads, Part 2. Shrimp Tomato Mold. One envelope unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold tomato juice. One and one quarter cups hot tomato juice. One quarter cup sweet pickle juice. One quarter teaspoon salt. One teaspoon horseradish. Two tablespoons lemon juice. Three quarter cup finely diced celery. Three tablespoons diced green pepper. One package frozen green shrimp cooked and cut in pieces. One quarter cup chopped sweet pickle. Two tablespoons chopped onion. Soften gelatin in cold tomato juice. Add hot juice and stir until gelatin is dissolved. Add pickle juice, salt, horseradish, and lemon juice. Chill until mixture starts to thicken. Add celery, green pepper, shrimp, pickle, and onion. Turn into mold and chill until firm. Yield six to eight servings. Luncheon Egg Salad 12 hard-cooked eggs 2 envelopes unflavored gelatin 1 half cup cold water 1 cup boiling water 1 cup mayonnaise 1 and a half teaspoons salt 1 eighth teaspoon pepper 1 tablespoon lemon juice 3 tablespoons chopped green pepper 2 tablespoons chopped pimento 2 drops Tabasco Soften gelatin in cold water Dissolve in boiling water. Put hard-cooked eggs through a sieve or ricer. Add gelatin, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, lemon juice, green pepper, pimento, and Tabasco. Pour salad mixture into mold. Chill until firm and serve with mock Russian dressing. Yield 10 servings. Mock Russian dressing. Mix thoroughly 3 quarter cup mayonnaise, 1 and a half cup chili sauce, and one half teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Salmon mousse. Two envelopes unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold water. Two cups boiling water. One quarter cup vinegar. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Two teaspoons finely chopped onion. One half teaspoon salt. One quarter cup ketchup. One quarter cup heavy cream whipped. Three quarter cup salad dressing, one half cup diced celery, two cups flaked salmon, one half cup sliced stuffed olives. Soften gelatin in cold water, dissolve in boiling water, add vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, onion, salt, ketchup, and mix well. Chill until slightly thickened. Fold in whipped cream, 
salad dressing, celery, salmon, and olives. Pour into fish or ring mold. Chill until firm. Unmold. Attractive garnishes may be made of sliced olives, tomatoes, or hard-cooked eggs. Yield six to eight servings. Conversation salad. One number two and a half can Bing cherries pitted. One half cup lemon juice. One package cherry flavored gelatin. Three quarter cup broken pecan meats. One three ounce bottle stuffed olives sliced. Drain cherries. Combine cherry syrup and lemon juice and add water to make one and three quarter cups liquid. Heat. Pour over gelatin and stir until dissolved. Chill until partially set. Add cherries, nuts, and olives. Pour into mold and chill until firm. Yield eight servings. Two-toned perfection salad. One package lime-flavored gelatin. Two cups hot water. One quarter cup sugar. One half teaspoon salt. Two tablespoons lemon juice. Three quarter cup finely shredded cabbage. One cup diced celery. Two tablespoons diced green pepper or pimento. Top layer. One envelope unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold milk. One half cup hot milk. One half teaspoon salt. One and one quarter cups cream style cottage cheese. One carton. Two teaspoons minced onion. Dissolve lime flavored gelatin in hot water. Add sugar, salt, and lemon juice. Chill until mixture starts to thicken. Add cabbage, celery, green pepper, or pimento. Turn into loaf pan. Chill until set. For top layer, soften gelatin in cold milk. Dissolve in hot milk. Add salt, onion, and cottage cheese. Spread over lime gelatin mixture and chill until firm. Unmold on lettuce and serve with salad dressing. Yield eight servings. Apple ginger ale salad. One and a half envelopes unflavored gelatin. One quarter cup cold water. One half cup hot pineapple juice. One half cup lemon juice. Two tablespoons sugar. One quarter teaspoon salt. One cup ginger ale. One half cup chopped celery. One cup chopped red skinned apples. One third cup chopped dates. One half cup broken pecans. Few drops green vegetable coloring. Soften gelatin in cold water. Dissolve in hot pineapple juice. Add lemon juice, sugar, salt, ginger ale, and coloring. Chill until mixture begins to congeal. Fold in celery, apple, dates, and pecans. Pour into mold and chill until firm. Yield eight servings. Rhuberry salad. One package frozen rhubarb. Two envelopes unflavored gelatin. One half cup cold water. One package frozen strawberries. One cup ginger ale. Red vegetable coloring. Cook frozen rhubarb about five minutes or until tender. Soften gelatin in cold water. Add to hot rhubarb and stir until dissolved. Cool slightly. Add frozen strawberries and ginger ale to the mixture. Add enough red vegetable coloring to give desired bright red color. Turn into mold. Chill. Yield eight servings. Lime pineapple mold. Two packages lime flavored gelatin. Three cups hot water. One number two can crushed pineapple drained. One pint sour cream. Dissolve gelatin in hot water. Some pineapple juice can be substituted for water. Chill in refrigerator until gelatin begins to congeal. Add pineapple and sour cream. Chill until set. Yield 12 servings. Roquefort cheese salad. Two three ounce packages cream cheese. One ounce Roquefort or blue cheese. Three quarter cup milk. One envelope unflavored gelatin. Three tablespoons cold water. Two teaspoons lemon juice. One half teaspoon salt. One quarter cup pistachio nuts, chopped. Few drops green food coloring. 
one half cup heavy cream whipped. Blend together cream cheese and Roquefort cheese. Add milk gradually and mix well. Soften gelatin in cold water. Dissolve over hot water. Add gelatin to cheese mixture, then lemon juice, salt, and nuts. Tint a pale green with food coloring. Fold in whipped cream. Pour into mold and chill until firm. Yield 12 servings. French dressing. One small onion or one clove of garlic sliced. One quarter cup vinegar or lemon juice. One tablespoon sugar. Three quarter teaspoon salt. One eighth teaspoon pepper. One quarter teaspoon paprika. Three quarter cup salad oil. Add onion or garlic to vinegar. Let stand 20 minutes. Strain. Combine sugar, salt, pepper, and paprika in a jar or bowl. Add vinegar and oil. Cover tightly and shake vigorously or beat with rotary egg beater or electric mixer. Store in the refrigerator. Shake or beat dressing each time before serving. Makes one cup dressing. Fruit French dressing. One quarter cup orange juice. One quarter cup pineapple juice. Two tablespoons lemon juice. One quarter cup salad oil. 2 teaspoons sugar, 1 half teaspoon salt. Combine juices, oil, sugar, and salt in a jar or bowl. Shake or beat vigorously until well blended. Store in refrigerator. Shake or beat dressing each time before serving. Makes 1 cup dressing. Celery seed dressing. 1 and 1 quarter cup sugar, 2 teaspoons dry mustard, 2 teaspoons salt. 1 tablespoon onion juice, 2 thirds cup vinegar, 2 cups salad oil, 2 tablespoons celery seed. Combine sugar, mustard, salt, onion juice, and half the vinegar. Beat well. Then gradually add the oil alternately with the remaining vinegar and beat until a stable emulsion has been formed. Add the celery seed. Mix about 3 cups. And of section 7. Section 8 of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Refrigerator Cookies and Rolls Crisp, crunchy, delightfully fresh cookies at a moment's notice are at your fingertips when your International Harvester Refrigerator holds an ever-ready supply of refrigerator cookie dough. Refrigerator cookie dough keeps well in your refrigerator for several weeks. When ready to bake cookies, merely cut off thin slices of dough and bake as directed. Rewrap and return remaining dough to your refrigerator. 6-in-1 Refrigerator Cookies 1 cup butter, 1 half cup brown sugar, 1 half cup white sugar, 1 egg beaten, 1 half teaspoon vanilla, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 1 half teaspoon soda, 1 quarter teaspoon salt, 1 half square unsweetened chocolate, melted, 1 quarter cup shredded coconut, 1 quarter cup chopped raisins, 1 quarter cup chopped pecans, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon nutmeg. Cream butter, gradually add sugar. Continue creaming until mixture is light and fluffy. Add egg and vanilla, mix well. Sift together flour, soda, and salt, and gradually add to mixture. Beat well after each addition. Divide dough into six equal portions. To one portion add chocolate, coconut to another, raisins to another, pecans to another, cinnamon and nutmeg to another, and leave the last portion plain. Shape each portion into a roll one and three quarter inches in diameter. Wrap in wax paper. Chill in refrigerator. Cut into one eighth inch slices. Bake on cookie sheet in 375 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Yield five dozen cookies. Oatmeal refrigerator cookies. One cup flour, two teaspoons baking powder, 
one half teaspoon salt, three cups rolled oats, one cup brown sugar, one cup butter melted, one quarter cup boiling water. Sift flour, baking powder, and salt together. Add rolled oats and brown sugar. Mix. Add butter and boiling water and mix well. Form into rolls, wrap in waxed paper, and chill in refrigerator several hours. Slice and bake in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about 10 minutes. Yield eight dozen cookies. Vanilla Refrigerator Cookies. One half cup shortening, one cup sugar, one egg beaten, one teaspoon vanilla, one and one half cup sifted all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon soda, one half teaspoon salt. Cream shortening. Gradually add sugar. Continue creaming until mixture is light and fluffy. Add egg and vanilla. Mix well. Sift flour, soda, and salt together and gradually add to mixture. Beat mixture after each addition. Shape into a roll about one and three quarter inches in diameter. Wrap in waxed paper. Chill in refrigerator. Cut into one eighth inch slices. Bake on cookie sheet in a moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, for seven to ten minutes. Yield six dozen cookies. Refrigerator rolls. It is a particular advantage to have refrigerated dough for fresh rolls when entertaining, or if the family is small and cannot use a full recipe at one time. Almost any yeast roll may be refrigerated three or four days satisfactorily. However, the recipe should contain plenty of yeast and sugar. When ready to use, the dough can be formed into rolls of any desired shape or into coffee cake. Refrigerating the dough at from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit retards yeast activity. The surface of the dough must be greased and covered tightly to prevent drying or the formation of a hard crust. Refrigerator Rolls 3 quarter cup milk, 6 tablespoons sugar, 1 tablespoon salt, 5 tablespoons shortening, 1 half cup warm water, 2 cakes yeast, 1 egg, 4 and 1 half cup sifted flour. Scald milk. Add sugar, salt, shortening, and stir. Cool this mixture until lukewarm. Soften yeast cakes in warm water and let stand until dissolved. Stir and add lukewarm milk mixture. Add beaten egg and 2 cups flour. Beat until smooth. Add remaining flour and mix well. Place dough in a lightly greased bowl and brush top with melted shortening. Cover and store in refrigerator at least two hours. When ready to use, punch dough down and cut off as much dough as desired. Form rolls and place in greased muffin pans. Brush with melted butter, cover and let rise in a warm place until doubled in bulk. Bake in hot oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, about 15 minutes. Makes about two dozen rolls. Foundation Sweet Dough two cakes yeast, one quarter cup lukewarm water, one cup milk, one quarter cup butter, one half cup sugar, one teaspoon salt, two eggs beaten, one teaspoon grated lemon rind, if desired, five cups sifted flour, about. Soften yeast in lukewarm water, scald milk, add butter, sugar, and salt, and cool to lukewarm. Add two cups flour and beat well. Add yeast, eggs, and lemon rind, Blend thoroughly. Add remaining flour to make a soft dough. Turn out on lightly floured board and knead until satiny. Place in a greased bowl, cover and let rise in warm place, 80 degrees to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, until doubled in bulk. Punch down and form into smooth ball. Grease surface lightly, cover and put into refrigerator. To use, remove dough from refrigerator and punch down. Mold at once into rolls, tea rings, or coffee cakes, or if preferred, let dough stand in warm room for an hour, punch down, and mold. Place in greased pans and let rise until doubled in bulk. Bake in moderate oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 to 25 minutes for rolls, 25 to 30 minutes for coffee cakes. Yield about three and one half dozen rolls or two 12-inch tea rings. End of section 8. Section 9 of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes. 
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Matthew McNaughton. International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding. Casserole Dishes and Other Uses. Casserole Dishes. Colorful, tasty, all-in-one dishes, casseroles, are ideal as the main dish for luncheon or supper. They are the solution to clever disguising of leftover foods. They are the answer to time-saving, beforehand meal preparation. The casserole dish can be prepared several hours in advance, refrigerated, and later placed in the oven so as to be piping hot by mealtime. As a rule, casserole dishes are made up of various combinations of a protein food, a starch, a vegetable, and a sauce. The sauce is either white sauce, plain or varied, or a cream soup. The starch may be noodles, spaghetti, macaroni, crackers, potatoes or potato chips, breadcrumbs, or a cereal. The protein food may be meat, fish, poultry, or cheese. Often the vegetables and protein foods are leftovers, which are cleverly combined to appear dressed up in a new attire. For the majority of casserole dishes, a medium white sauce is the right consistency, the proportions being two tablespoons butter to two tablespoons flour, half teaspoon salt, few grains pepper, and one cup milk. Thin sauce can be made by using one tablespoon butter and one tablespoon flour to one cup milk. Variations. Added zest enhancing the flavor of casserole dishes can be obtained by varying the sauce. Suggestions. These proportions are for one cup white sauce. Parsley sauce. Add two to four tablespoons chopped parsley after sauce has cooled. Horseradish sauce. Add one quarter cup grated horseradish drained, and one quarter teaspoon dry mustard. Cheese sauce. Add one half cup grated cheese and a dash of paprika. Stir over low heat until cheese is melted, or substitute one and a half teaspoons Worcester sauce for paprika. Olive sauce. Add one egg, unbeaten, one quarter cup light cream, and cook over hot water two minutes, stirring constantly. Add one-third cup chopped ripe or stuffed olives. Other uses. Garnishes. Many gay garnishes are easily made from raw vegetables. Place garnishes, such as radish roses, celery curls, or carrot sticks in a bowl of ice water for crisping. Later, these vegetables can be wrapped in a damp cloth and stored in the refrigerator crisper until ready to serve. Sandwiches and hors d'oeuvres. Sandwiches and hors d'oeuvres can be successfully stored for several hours in the household refrigerator. It is especially important that the bread for hors d'oeuvres or sandwiches be spread generously with butter. This is to prevent the filling from soaking into the bread. Wrap sandwiches in waxed paper and then in a damp cloth. If they are arranged on trays, cover with waxed paper and a damp cloth. Sandwich fillings, too, can be stored in the refrigerator until serving time. Cottage cheese filling. One pound cottage cheese, drained. Two tablespoons chopped olives. One half teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon pepper. Dash of paprika. Five drops Tabasco. Combine all ingredients and mix well. Salmon salad sandwich filling. One cup flaked salmon, one quarter cup diced celery, one teaspoon minced onion, two teaspoons minced parsley, one tablespoon lemon juice, half teaspoon salt, three tablespoons mayonnaise. Combine all ingredients and mix thoroughly. Cheese smoothie. One quarter pound American cheese, two hard cooked eggs, two teaspoons chopped onion, one quarter teaspoon salt. Dash paprika. 3 tablespoons mayonnaise, 2 teaspoons chopped pimento. Put cheese and eggs through fine food chopper, add remaining ingredients, and mix well. Egg salad sandwich filling. 3 hard-cooked eggs, chopped. 2 tablespoons chopped green pepper. 2 tablespoons chopped celery. 
3 tablespoons chopped green olives, 3 tablespoons chopped walnuts, 3 tablespoons mayonnaise, 1 tablespoon ketchup, 3 quarter teaspoon salt. Combine all ingredients and mix well. Cabbage filling. 1 cup finely chopped raw cabbage, 3 slices crisp bacon crumbled, 3 tablespoons mayonnaise, 1 teaspoon minced onion, 1 eighth teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon celery salt, dash of pepper. Combine all ingredients and mix well. Weenie Surprise Sandwich Filling 4 frankfurters cooked 4 tablespoons pickle relish 3 to 4 tablespoons mayonnaise Put frankfurters through a fine food chopper. Add relish and mayonnaise. Mix well. End of section 9 End of International Harvester Refrigerator Recipes by Irma Harding